Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks Free. Yes, they're still free. Uh, number one, remember we just did a video with a free band giveaway? Well, they're extending the band um, giveaway to include today's watch bands as well. Yes, another smartwatch from number one with removable bands. Uh, just follow the instructions you see on the bottom of your screen. Go to the link here you see at the top. I'll also have it in the show notes under the video. You can get yourself a set of free watch bands, including shipping for your brand new number one, da -da -da -da, F3. Here it is. Yes, indeed. Here's... Here's some extra bands that have been shipped along to show you. You don't get this in the box. This is special for Mr. Ticks because I'm showing you on video. You get uh, the one it comes with. You choose your color, but you can qualify for and receive a set of free bands uh, if you'd like to change your band outs on your watch. And these are really nice bands. I'm talking really. Look at that. They smooth, stretchable, really stretchable. Excellent quality bands, excellent quality watch. Here it is. We'll turn it on in a minute. Give a look. In the meantime, what else is in the box? We've got a manual. Da -da -da -da. English is on this side. Okay. Let's take a look at the manual, and you get to learn a little bit about what this watch does. This is an interesting watch. We saw the first one in the uh, number one F2 a long time ago. And it was, it kind of took me by surprise because it was more like a digital watch, like the old Casio watches, remember them? With a black and white or black and gray kind of a screen. You can't see the images too well, and I can't actually off camera either, but they're there, and this is telling you how to navigate around the watch. Uh, anyway, the, 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 the thing about these watches is um, because of the display being so low power, you uh, you can have almost a year or more, maybe even, uh, use out of it on just one of those tiny watch batteries. That's really cool. And it's got Bluetooth built in and does tethering, and that makes it a smart watch. So that's the manual, and here's the watch. Now, where did we get it from? We got it from number one. And just like on our GS8... Uh, G8, um, V review that we did. Uh, number one is the manufacturer. There's a lot of people that sell these watches, including the likes of Banggood, one of our major sponsors, has um, the F3. This is the current price, and it changes from time to time as it goes through all these different steps in pre-launch. Um, and we get coupons too. So in the show notes... We're opening it up to all of the different vendors uh, to give us a, a coupon or their best price, and we will list it there for you. And if you're interested in the watch, depending on who you'd like to buy it from, you're highly encouraged to use the link down below you see in our show notes, because if you buy through that link, you'll still get the price or even lower, um, but you're giving uh, credit back through the whole network for our support from these watch vendors so we can get more of these kind of watches in the future in addition to getting them from number one and other watch companies. What's it got inside of it? The number one F3. First of all, it's an IP68, totally waterproof. You can swim, you can shower, you can do whatever you want. By the way, when I say shower, it's a cold shower, guys. Cold shower. You don't want to use hot water on these watches or you'll be in hot water. They're really certified. The IP68 thing is for cold water. So you know the cold shower routine. Just plan on doing that when you're doing it with, uh, with your watch. <laughs> okay, so the F3 is this one here. And this was the original F2. Now, I want to show you something. But before I do that, I want to turn them on. Um, the way you turn them on is you hold this button and this button, press and hold for a few seconds, and it should say on. There we go. That one's coming on, and now I'm going to do the same thing on this one. We're going to turn it on as well. Now, of course, they're not synced up to uh, anything, so the time has not been set automatically by uh, the phone, but you see the reflective screen, 
and you see all the little dits and dots all over the screen. You see that this one has got this really bulky, uh, double-latched, massive, I called it a Terminator watch when we reviewed this one earlier, uh, really huge. <laughs> and, and, and all of this stuff, it's actually got four buttons, one here, one here, oops, I'm off camera, there and there, and here and here. So, and this thing is just kind of there, and, and big lettering and all that in a watch. And it turns out that this watch here, the new F3, this is the F2, the F3, the F3 is pretty much the same innards as what you see here, all wrapped in this, but in a, a more conservative package with removable bands that you can uh, just simply, you know, pop them out like you do a, a band from um, a regular watch. They got the compression things on them. And this doesn't have the pin in there right now, but there's a hole for the pin. So you put the, the metal pin through here and you can change the band out. Uh, you have to have the blue on the outside or the orange on the outside, I believe. Is it the white on the outside? Which way is the clasp? It's that way. So, yeah, it's going to be white on the outside with orange underneath or blue on the outside with white underneath and very easy to change the bands out. They look awful, awful lot alike, don't they, in terms of the screens? Well, they're more than just an awful lot alike. They're basically identical. I put this together for you to show. There's an F2 and there's an F3. Now, when you look at the layout of, of what's on the controls, you're seeing that the top elements across here govern a Bluetooth camera, SMS. Oh, we got wind blowing through. You guys didn't know I have wind chimes, did you? <laughs> we have call notifications. So these are the, uh, the, the indicators that will flash when any of these notification events come to you from your phone. On the F2, on the F3, you've got exactly the same thing. There's one other icon uh, shown over here that, that is not identified. You see that one right there? That's the Bluetooth, and it's on both of these. When that is lit up, you know, that's telling you that Bluetooth is turned on so that you're connected to your phone. And if it's not on, then it's, uh, it's not active. You've got the day of the week, and you've got the date on both of them. And now look carefully at the icons across the bottom. They are identical, with the exception... Well, okay, in the first row, they are totally identical. Starting with the calendar, you've got the pedometer, you've got all of these icons here, and there they are listed. All right? And then the very bottom row, you have all these icons, including one called thermometer on the F2. On the F3, you have exactly the same things. See them? But no thermometer. So... The operations, the guts, the innards, the display, the size, the layout, the pixel density of the screen are identical between the F2 and the F3, with the exception that the F2 also has a thermometer built into it that you don't see on the F3. So when we turn it on, which we've done, you can cycle through these things with the mode button by simply tapping, and it uh, shows you across the bottom which thing you're looking at. There's the thermometer, which, by the way, never really worked on the F2. And I think that's why it's been taken off on the F3. It was there, but it didn't work. And you get back to time. So one more time. We're going through the first icon, second, and so forth. I have no data in here because I haven't been using the watch. And you can see each of those different things uh, in action and what they do in the review that we did on the F2. On the F3 now, same thing, mode button in the same place. I press it. There's the calendar for the date, basically. You're running. Yeah. And again, they're all on zero right now, but this is all the stuff that relates to um, your health data. Now, see, we skipped the calendar or, or the thermometer. And we're back to time. Well, I've had a chance to take this out and do a little walk and accumulate some data. So we have the time display. We have the date display, right? 
Then I've got 3,076 steps for a 10 or 103.9 calories burned. Uh, i got to be quick on this. And a distance of 2.1 miles. There's an alarm, which never was set. And I ran the stopwatch for 34 minutes and 54 seconds. Then you've got the barometric pressure down here. And the UV, 3L, whatever that is. Okay, and that's what's accumulated on the watch. Now, up here you see we've got these different symbols for um, your notifications. And if I press and hold, I can activate the Bluetooth. It's flashing. And that should connect in on the um, phone with the Fundu bracelet app. And there it is. It just brought all that data over. There's my step count right there with the uh, energy the distance, and the duration all brought in along with it. And that's how you use the app. It's a tethering app, pretty simple. The goal of, I think, 8,000 steps, this is 30% of the way toward that goal. Thermometer's not supported. Or remember, they pulled that off on this one. So the temperature, if they're getting it, they're getting it from the phone's connection, not from whatever the watch is picking up. Uh, but it is giving you the uh, barometric pressure. And it's showing an altitude change of 89.3 meters. Again, not sure what that's all about. The sleep monitor, I'm pretty sure there's no sleep monitor happening with these watches. It's a universal type of an app. It's used for a variety of different devices, some of which probably have the sleep monitoring in them. So there's a panel here for it, but I don't get any data uh, transferred over, and nor do we see anything on the device at all. When you go to the Mi... You see your information. I'm logged in as this, which is just a generic uh, login, because when you, when you start it, it wants you to create an account and log in. But down at the bottom, there's a button that says Guest, and you can log in as Guest. Oh, okay. I'm set up for 10,000 uh, steps when I talked about the target. Here's our Bluetooth connection. It's connected, so we're not going to break it. The... Uh, Unbinding device, which actually means what you're bound to, is the F3. The firmware and about are all here, and you could log out. The nice thing about creating an account and logging in is then you can preserve your data and probably do it across devices. Uh, so if you use a different watch or device that uses the same app, you could, by logging in, maintain all of that. But you can log in as a guest. And um, once again, there's our data page. And then there's more, where you can, they say, find the bracelet. It says it's sending a signal to it, but it doesn't vibrate or flash. So as far as I know, that feature's not working. There's remote camera, and uh, when you have that set, it turns it into camera mode. And I don't believe there's a way you can bring this watch into the camera mode like you can on some of them, where you get a button and you can uh, take a picture. But if you could, that's how you would activate getting into the remote camera here. And come out of that. Well, I guess the back button. There we go. So we're not really using that. There's notification of a new message. You can set up all the different things you want notifications on. That would probably be that first icon. Then there's call notification and SMS notification. And what will happen is the icon will flash if you get one of those incoming um, notifications. All right. Do not disturb mode. Well, it doesn't vibrate anyway, so you don't have that or sedentary reminder. And uh, the rest of the stuff doesn't particularly apply. So a fairly simple app, but you can accumulate... Uh, what they call running, but it's actually step count information and converted to distance and energy. And the timing is, uh, I guess, the time that you were doing this exercising is it uh, says 25 minutes, but when I started my stopwatch on this, I clocked 35 minutes just about. So I'm not sure how that plays into it. And when you tap on any of these, basically... Oh, you get your days. Okay. I thought basically you wouldn't get anything. But here's um, information uh, from yesterday, I believe. 
and then today, right? So far, okay. It's set up for doing heart rate. You don't have that. Sleep, you don't have that. So basically, they're using a general purpose app to give you your step count. But folks, look, this is a, a digital watch. This is like an old Casio kind of watch. There's no battery to charge. You're always going to have the time. It's a, it's a nice little watch to keep track of your steps on a daily basis. It will transfer over as long as you tether. It's running 4.1, probably at least 4, uh, Bluetooth. And um, you're able to keep track of all of these kind of things on here. So as an investment in a nice little sports watch that has an always-on display that's brightest in the sunshine... It's a good deal, and it's very similar to the F2, except it's much more compact. The F2 is a bulky kind of a watch. Uh, this one's a lot more streamlined, and the band fits nicely. Oh, and did I mention you can get free bands? Yeah, free. <laughs> All right, I'll stop saying that, but you definitely can. There's another set of bands you can have for this watch as well, so very attractive. Oh, guess what? Yeah, the remote camera is supported on this watch. See the second icon in? If I'm tethered, I press and hold these two buttons. When this is in camera mode, like this, I say remote camera. Now I've got my camera where I got my little dancing head over here. Uh, but first, let's get it in the mode. Press and hold. And there it's flashing. And now, if I quickly press this button, the top button, where am I? Oh, this is so hard to do with one hand. Okay, there's the little dancing thing. I fell out of the mode, so I'm going to press again and hold. There. And now I press the top button, and you see it said photo success? It took a picture. And it stopped. One more time. Press and hold these two buttons. Get it to flash. And then take the picture by pressing the top button. And it says photo success. But you can't be too long. Because if you press and hold. More than a few seconds it turns the watch off. So have at it gang. You got your choice of supplier here. We've got really good prices. Check the show notes down below. we got links for each and every one of them. You can pick up this F3 from number one through any of our sponsors. And, of course, don't forget to head on over to ChinaWatches.com. Get free number one smart watch spare parts. And you can get yourself uh, another set of, of bands so you can change the color for your pretty F3 watch. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for your subscription. A lot more to come.